Hey guys, it's Mac here, and today we're going to be learning on uh, making a logout button. Basically, what it is is deleting a token. So, we're just going to make a, a link. So, you know, the ref. Give it no value. The ID is very important. We're going to name it a logout link. And in here, we're going to put logout. Now we're just gonna name it logout. All right, let's go straight into the API. So, how do we do this? I I actually uh, just close this this method that we made a long time ago, and uh, <clears throat> just to focus on the logout. So, what are we gonna do here is first give it a click method. So we're gonna do logout link dot click right, once we have that method what we want to do is create a function for it so function there we go and here is all our code once we click so how this works this works so in here where we uh, get get access right here where we get access authorization access create a token and basically we're gonna get that token and give it the value of null what well, null is null equals zero basically so we're gonna do var token equals <clears throat> Sorry about that. G A P I dot authorization dot get token. After that, we'll do an if and else. Make sure that token does have a value. So token if token. And here we're gonna make a variable called script. Give make it equal to. Uh, uh, an element that we're going to make so document dot create create element it needs a tag name as you can see in the parameters and the tag name is going to be script <laughs> ignore that <clears throat> and then in here we'll do document sorry about that that's not what I want to do yet. We're going to do script.source. Sorry about that. It's RC. Let me just turn off my Skype for a second. Do not disturb. And that's right. Click that OK message. All right, let's get back into this. So it's going to be equal to a link. So it's HTTP slash accounts.google. dot com o slash authorization to recoke slash token and we gotta send Google our token and our token is token plus access token perfect and let's send it to our document document dot body dot append child and I'm going to put script in here we're also going to delete that child so in document oh my god I always spell it wrong document dot body dot remove child I believe it's called yes it is and so I'm gonna put script in here all right after that we have to give the value of our token null and the value of this right here our authorization give it give it null 
so the value of our authorization is going to be null also the way we do that is <clears throat> not that hard we're just going to do jpi authorization set token null and guess what the other one is it's pretty simple just handle authorization result no and let me see if i spelled it right uh, i believe i did so we're gonna run this bam all right so let's click this blah blah all right we're in we'll click log out and it sends us back awesome right so tries again bam block uh um, blah, continue to block always block uh request for permission i don't know why it's doing this for me yeah allow just allow it doesn't really matter allow blah blah yeah whatever doesn't matter great it closed the api continue and again if i press logout it sends me back so cool we just made a logout uh a link over here very useful you always you don't you don't always want to be connected to uh the person's account a link to it so uh that's basically it guys next tutorial i really don't know We're probably going to get into requesting some analytic probably views in a chart or something and uh see you then guys peace out